Hello, I'm Mike McCormick. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be discussing the basics of your landform in a box project. The materials you're going to need and some techniques that will help you finish your project on time and have it looking good. Let's start off with the basics. First thing you're going to need is a box. Simple shoe box. I've got large feet, so this is a large box. But you can use a smaller box if necessary. Probably nothing much bigger than this. Secondly, you'll need some paint, maybe some spray paint. I like these little uh, bottles of paint you can get for probably 50 cents each. You'll need the primary colors, red, yellow, blue, and white. And I went ahead, since I'm going to be using a lot of green instead of mixing green, I bought some green. You'll also need some tape, something to mix your paint in couple different sizes of brushes. I like the foam brushes for dipping and dabbing instead of the regular paint brushes because we are working with foam today. Oh, and speaking of foam, a nice big can of foam. Relatively inexpensive, three, four dollars. You can find it at any one of your hardware stores. You'll need an X-Acto knife, something for, for cutting nice detail. Also some other various knives. A, a serrated blade knife and a small knife. Make sure that you have your parents' permission to use your knives. Do not destroy her good kitchen knives. And I got another brush. And this. This is a scrap piece of foam core. I'm going to use this to cut out a shape just like my the inside of my shoe box so I don't actually have to spray the foam inside the shoe box. I can put everything, make everything separate, and then put it in the shoe box later. So let's get started with that. Okay guys, the first thing you're going to notice, I laid down a piece of plastic on my countertop and taped it down around the edges. If I didn't do that, my wife would kill me if I got foam on the countertops. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start by, I'm not going to need the lid to my box. Um, not today, not for this project. So I'm going to start by cutting it off. I'm going to bring it out here. I'm going to cut right along this line, nice and easy, all the way up until it comes off. Don't throw this away. You might be able to use this later for something else. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my box and my piece of foam. I'm going to lay my box down on top of my foam. And using a pen, I'm going to draw the shape of my box. It might be easier, I won't have to cut so many sides if I put one edge of the box right along the edge of the paper here. Start with that nice flush line right here and just draw up my other three sides. It doesn't have to be straight, doesn't have to be perfect. Your landform is going to cover most of this. Okay. Now that I've got my shape, I can see the lines right here. Let's cut it out. Now if you're cutting down through a surface on something else, like a hard countertop or something, make sure that you have something underneath it so you don't tear up your mom's counter. But I'm going to raise mine up just a wee bit, and since I've done this a million times before, I'm, I'm going to take the necessary risk and just do this. Cut nice straight line, well not so straight, line down through there, I'm going to do another one right through here, just a little bit inside of my lines just so I know it fits inside my box. Right there. This is the tricky one, so I gotta start a little bit ahead of myself and cut. There we go. Now it's come out. Not 100% straight, it's got a little bit of a wavy line, but as long as it fits inside my box, I'm good. And it does. It fits right in there nice and neat. So all I'll do is shake it loose, which could be kind of tricky. And this is going to be the base of our platform. This is what we're going to spray the foam to. Now, with any can of foam, you have got to be very careful. This foam sticks to everything. I recommend wearing gloves if you're, if you're not used to working with it, um, simply because it will stick to your hands. So we're going to shake it up, pop the lid, 
This is very important. Do not lose this. This is your uh, spraying attachment. If it gets clogged with foam because it dries, that's okay. You can pop it loose and clean out the foam. It will come loose from the plastic. And today's landform that we're going to work on is going to be an archipelago. An archipelago is a series of islands connected in a chain. So we're going to start real simple by starting with the big island. I'm going to have a big island right here. This is sort of like Hawaii. And I'm going to start here by spraying my foam, and it's not going to look pretty at first. Okay, and your islands can have different shapes. They don't all have to be the same. They're not all going to be round, big dots. But I'm going to have my island right here. Spray my foam. It's got a couple different peaks on it. Got a little, a little bit of an outlet there. I'll let that sit, and I'm gonna come over here and draw my other islands in the chain. I'm gonna have a, a couple little small right here, right here, and over here. I'm let my foam sit over here, and this is why we cover it with plastic because it's gonna have a tendency to drip. See that drip right there? And we'll have that over the plastic so when it falls, it'll fall on the plastic and we can take it off later. Okay guys, it's been about an hour, maybe a little bit more, and it looks like our foam is nice and firm to the touch. And it's time to use our knife. Remember, we've got to be very careful and we're going to start carving this thing. Um, trying to shape it up a little bit. I did a little test carve earlier right here in the back side. Pull it apart and you can see that the... The foam is nice and solid all the way through, and uh, it should be good to go. About a million and one ways that we can do this. But I'm going to start over here on the smaller islands. I kind of want to shape these down a little bit to where, you know, the water and the land, because this is going to be the water. All this flat part here is going to be the water in between each one of these islands. I want to kind of carve this to where the landform meets the foam. Just remember, there are no straight lines in nature. We kind of want to carve this towards kind of different shape. Okay, I just took it outside and uh, spray painted it. Got everything around through here nice and brown all the way through. I use it like a nice base coat um, so you can apply different colors on top of this later. Now remember, all this area out through here is all going to be painted blue. Once the paint dries, we'll go ahead and paint some other colors on top of it. It's like the uh, paint is mostly dry to the touch. Um, notice around the edges here where I sprayed the exposed foam. The paint has caused it to shrink a little bit, sort of like it was eating it away. It sort of gives us a really nice texture um, for the mountains. And I'm going to go ahead and start applying my paint. I'm going to start with the blue in the water, um, basically because anything else that's other than blue I can paint over um, if it has blue in it. And we don't want it to be perfect, but we do want to get a nice good coating on it.
And that just about does it, guys. That's your landform in a box. Okay guys, that's it. We have completed our landform and archipelago. We have created the different islands out of foam. We've painted them to match the details of an island with the greens and the different shades of brown. Uh, we've even put in a little volcanic feature here. Now, remember, the details are in the painting, so take your time with the painting. That's probably the most important thing. Make everything look nice and detailed. Notice I've put in the different waves and even painted in the sandy beaches. Um, so this project is complete. The only thing left to do is to go ahead and label the box, uh, maybe paint the box, take some of these stickers off and other things, put your name on it, and um, put you know whatever the landform is, and finish your report. Now remember, your reports aren't due until the project is due, which is on the 16th of October. So you've still got a little over a week to do this, a week and a half. So have fun, but get it done. Thanks, guys.